If you thought about buying a home, there are a few things you should know before you even think about looking at homes. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Rico Castillo. I'm a local real estate agent with Cold Banker Realty and I do a lot of videos about what's in and around the Sacramento metro communities. I talk about the pros and cons, cost of living, the best neighborhoods, the best schools, and stuff like that to really help you get to know the area well. And I also give tips and advice about buying and selling a home. So if you're new here, subscribe, tap that bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Let's get started. So being a real estate agent for as long as I have, 1998, and having represented as many buyers as I have, has taught me a thing or two to help buyers avoid mistakes. So in this video, we're going to talk about the five critical tips and advice for first-time home buyers. Number one, it's never too early to talk to an agent. Why? Because you want guidance throughout the whole process. And you could be three months, six months, or even 12 months away or longer before buying a home. However, you want to have guidance all throughout the process. For one, you want to be prepared. Two, it will make it a lot easier for you um, throughout the whole process and talking to an agent will help you do just that. So if you were to call me, for instance, we'll talk about your plan, your budget, your time frame, your wants and needs. So the point is, the more prepared you are, the better off you will be when you're actually ready to buy a home. Shameless plug-in. Let me know and comment below if you would like to have a copy of my 16 biggest mistakes home buyers make when buying a home. Number two, get pre-approved or if you're just starting now and you're not quite ready, at least talk to a loan officer. Why? Because you want to be able to know where you are currently, where you stand. That way you'll know how much you can afford. Or even if your pre-approval shows you approve for 600, but your payments is something where you're not comfortable with, talk to the loan officer. They'll tell you how much or what price you should be looking into for the amount of money or payment that you can afford that you feel comfortable on a monthly basis. If you know where you are currently, um, then you know what to do next. For instance, if you um, are lacking uh, down payment for a certain program to, be to get the best rates, maybe you need to kind of set aside a certain amount every month and plan for that accordingly until you're ready to purchase. Um, you need to work on your credit or whatever else it is uh, and also talk to uh, your loan officer to make sure that they give you guidance throughout as well and talking to your real estate agent will give you a good idea in terms of who uh, is good around the area they should know uh, have contacts in terms of who they work with in the area and because you want the local agent you don't want to just go to the um, Wells Fargo's and the big banks you know because they really are kind of restricted where the local um, loan officers, they have more programs and they're a little bit more flexible and that could help you in the long run. Okay, number three, understand and be prepared for the cost associated with actually buying a home. Did you know that buying a home is not all about down payment? You actually have closing costs as well. Now, everything in real estate is negotiable. However, most of the time you do have to come up with closing costs. Just make sure you set aside an extra one and a half to three percent of the purchase price towards your closing costs. Like I said, everything in real estate is negotiable. However, did you know that you pay for um, inspections, appraisal, and sometimes even HOA uh, documents? So be prepared. Number four, when you talk to your lender or loan officer, Talk to them or ask them about different programs that might be best for your situation. They should know about the different programs uh, in the area that could help first-time home buyers. Or if you're a move-up buyer, uh, but if you're a nurse or a fireman, they might have programs to help you um, get into a home with a lot less money. You'll get assistance. Even if you're a, a, a VA or uh, even someone who works in the government, you could have different programs. So it's best to talk to your lender and see what kind of programs that they have. 
uh, VA for instance, uh, you can do what's called a VA no-no where the uh, buyer, the seller covers for your closing costs as well as some of your down payment. It's, it's a long story, but it's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, but it's something that uh, might be available to you if you're a veteran. Number five. Now, I touched on this a little bit earlier, but know how much you're willing to pay a month. You don't want to live and make money all for the sake of the house. You want to be able to live too. Yes, it's nice having the nice uh, big house, but if you can't afford it, you're gonna end up stressful, uh, lose all your hair, right? Uh, but you wanna make sure that you're not living uh, beyond your means, especially um, in terms of the house. Uh, you, you don't wanna be house rich and money poor, right? So just be prepared and make sure that you really uh, look at your budget talk to your lender, or they say that you're approved to make a $6,000 a month payment, but you only want to make a payment of around $2,500 or even $2,000. Let them know what the purchase price you should be looking into so your payments will be some something where you feel comfortable uh, and you don't feel stressed out at the end of the month. One thing to consider if you're renting now or even staying at home with relatives is that when you get into your home, uh, you will have a lot of the monthly bills that you weren't expected or expecting or weren't used to paying before. Uh, you'll have HOA, garbage fees, utilities, all those things you're going to have to consider because there'll be something that you did not uh, have to pay before. Now you're paying for them and next thing you know, little by little, they all add up. So make sure you're prepared. Uh, set aside that amount of money and write it all down uh, ahead of time so you know what your overall monthly bills will be and you'll have a better idea when you're more prepared. Now this was uh, a quick video in terms of some of the mistakes to avoid when buying a home. Uh, again, comment below. Uh, I go more into details. 16 biggest mistakes home buyers make. So uh, let me know if you'd like to have a copy of that and I'd be glad to send that out to you. I hope you like this video because I'm going to be doing more of these type of videos to help you navigate the complex process of buying and selling a home. Make sure you subscribe so the more subscribers we have, the better and more videos we'll be able to make. So subscribe, 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 tap that bell, and until next time, see you around town.